Good afternoon, listeners. Welcome from Loy Meadow, home of Alba Church Football Club, for this Southern League Central Premier Division clash between Alba Church and Tamworth. It's been a little while since we've been here. I think you'd have to go all the way back to 1992 for Tamworth's last visit. And this is the first visit with the uh, reformed Alba Church because they actually went out of business in 94, reforming in 96. So officially, first time was first visit here to the reformed club. Uh, commentary today will be brought to you by myself, Kev Clark, and alongside me is Stuart Bywater. So time within a 4-3-3 this afternoon. But for the home side in goal, Dan Crane. Two, Josh Eswelli. Three, Zach Foster. Four, Rahis Nabi. Five, Kyle Morrison. Six, the captain, Ash Carter. Seven, Dave Bellis. Eight, Josh March. Nine, Aaron Lloyd. Ten, Andre Landell. Eleven, Lee Chilton on the bench. This afternoon for Owls Church is Tristan Dunkley, former Tamworth player. Uh, Kieran Cook, Mitch Botfield, Tom Turton, Paul Evans. And for Tamworth, the lineup is as follows. In gold, Jazz Singh. Two, Christian Green. Three, Reece Sharp. Four, Joe Magunda. Five, Joel Kettle. He's the captain. Six, Jordan Goff. Seven, Fortune Maposa. Eight, Armand Verma. Nine, Greg Smith. Ten, Michael Taylor. Eleven, Chris Lay on the bench for the Lambs. Charlie Jemson. Charlie Shaw. Jack Concannon. Rion Pox. And Torrell Waite. And um, he will keep his job or lose his job ultimately on the basis of that. Just underway here at Lye Meadow, Tamworth kick off, kicking from our right to our left, and the ball is immediately out of play for a Alba Church goal kick. Took a little nick off his shin and deflected 10 yards back into his own half. Chilton across the Lambs box, and there's a header there from about 12 yards out, looping up. And it would have gone just under Jazz Singh's bar if but for the intervention of the Tamworth stopper who puts it out for a corner. Yeah, it was at first. That looked like it was going sailing over the bar, but it began to dip violently. Only Kevin Jazz wasn't a, on his marks. That would have been in the back of the net. That made me start to sound the wrong way, but none of our defeats have come from... As there's just actually a chance for Alchurch. Man free now for Alchurch. A shot across goal when he could have done better by Andre Landell. That was uh, shanked wide of Singh's right hand post. Now Josh Mark can try and escape down the right hand flank. That latest uh, foray forward by Alchurch was snuffed out by Rhys Sharp. Play on the opposite side now, and a chance for the cross again into the Tamworth box. Comes over, Sharp does enough, but it fell to Landell. Shot at Chassing's near post, it's palmed away. But still in possession out on this flank. Rolls back to his welly, chance to cross. Tamworth under pressure, headed out by Green. And then shot from range. Not the most cultured shot by uh, Nabby. And uh, I believe it's Joe Magunda down in the box, Kev. For Tamworth. Oh, it's not the best of touches by substitute Tyrell Waite there. He got stuck under his feet. Ball into a Tamworth box. Oh, and it only needed a touch from Andre Landell, who was under a lot of pressure from Reece Sharp, it has to be said. Good defending by the Tamworth man, but he skipped off wide and eventually out of play. And again, the ball will be changed for Josh March for Alba Church. Wide now to Landell. And back across the goal, Swartz a far post, and it was only a whisker wide. And in fact, it only needed a touch, but it's gone wide. It's a goal kick to Tamworth. So he still didn't find a Tamworth man. Reese Sharp back into the area towards Mikey Thomas. And that finds Verma deflection on the shot. Dan Craig did really well to save that one, Stuart. He certainly did, and it was the deflection that was the key point in that one, wasn't it, Kev, that appeared to take it away from. Dan Crane and almost a goal for Amon Verma. Yeah, it made it harder for the goalkeeper and he did really well to get something on that. And again, we had a perfect angle of it. Both hands pushing the ball wide. Tamworth on the attack. Taylor, 25 from goal. Wide to Waite. Back to Green. 
Burma's free in the middle if they can find him. Goff chips into the back, so far post, it's too heavy. Dan Green is happy to let that one drift over his head and out of play for a goal kick to the home side. And once again, we see Jordan Goff there with too much on that pass. There is the half-time whistle, listeners. And um, as you just said, course time with problems. It's been a little fortunate that we've not gone a goal down. 20-yard pass along the ground, which is good to see. Into midfield. Tamworth pressed that well. And here comes Tamworth now. Chris Lake with a chance. Oh, it's just over the bar. It's easily the best chance of the game for Tamworth. And that, after I was praising Alva Church's ability to play the ball on the ground in midfield, it was Tamworth who pressed it really well. The ball was slid through for Chris Lake, left edge of the 18-yard box. And his drive was rising and unfortunately it rose too high over the bar and out for a goal kick. He's gone across the 18-yard box to Smith, back to Verma. Cross comes in, find a cross goal, could go anywhere and I think it's uh, Joel Kettle. That's Joel Kettle kept at the near post there. He's got something on it, could only stab it wide in the end of Dan Crane's goal but um, to be honest, Stuart, it looked like the opportunity had, had been missed there. Verma rolled that across the 18-yard box to Smith. I think the idea was to clip on one round the corner for a runner, but it went back to Verma, got some kind of cross on it into the six-yard box, and it was Kettle, who was the closest Tamworth player to that. Well, it almost opened up in midfield for Alvachurch there. Credit to the Tamworth players who very quickly got in and around them. Ball forward towards Mikey Thomas now, and this is a... An opportunity for Thomas, if he can hold the ball up, gets there ahead of the goalkeeper, stabs it across goal, Smith couldn't get there, and it's gone out of play on the far side for a throw-in. I think that will suit Tamworth, ball into the Tamworth box though, some defending to do, stabbed off the post, it's off the upright, almost at the angle of crossbar and post there, from about six yards out, and out for a goal kick, and Tamworth survived. Yeah, we said at half-time, didn't we? It was a, a difficult game to commentate on. Wait, finds late inside the 18-yard box. Chipped into the box. Smith there! Tamworth take the lead. It's Greg Smith from no more than two yards out. He had the simple task of heading it past Dan Crane. And a great ball in by Chris Late. Tamworth take the lead, Stuart. They certainly do. And Very much belong to Tamworth, except for the moment where Old Church hit the post. Ball into the Tamworth box, defended by Jempson, shot across the bar, still not cleared. Tamworth defending for their lives and that time it was the crossbar that come to the rescue. I take it back, Alvachurch are unlucky not to be on level two. They certainly are and like I said, just before the Tamworth goal went in, they also had that one off the post cab as well. So like I said, Alvachurch's backs are now up and I don't want to get back into this game and get back on level terms. And so, the upshot is Tamworth have got a free kick. Left edge of the 18-yard box for Chris Lake to whip into the box. A bit closer into where he set up the poster for the goal at Rushall, but dangerous all the same. Gone towards the back post, straight in the goal. What a fantastic strike by Chris Lake. He's 12th of the season, and Tamworth take a 2-0 lead, Stuart. I certainly know, that's what I said they needed to do, Kev. It's ride that little bit of pressure after going one nil up that Alva Church would, you knew they, they'd bring to the fold. But Tamworth have weathered that. I mean, that was really well put away by Chris Lake to put the Lambs 2 0 in the lead. Mikey Taylor gives chase, but uh, that's easy enough. Oh, it's thrown out by Crane to Taylor. He's beaten the goalkeeper. There's an empty goal for Tyrell. Wait, if he can get there, slots it towards goal. It's cleared off the line. What a mistake by Dan Crane, the goalkeeper there for Old Church. He tried to bowl it out to his fullback. It hit the back of Mikey Thomas, and all of a sudden, uh, Mikey Taylor, I beg your pardon, and all of a sudden, Tamworth had an open goal of sorts with two you know covering what? defenders. As well, credit to Mikey Taylor. Really unselfishly, he laid that ball off to Tyrell Waite, who, in my favour, could have just smacked it. But he took too many touches and it allowed two Elf Church players to get back on the line while what? the keeper was still in no man's land. Corner comes in, heading towards goal, yeah. it's on the line, it's in the back of the net, and it's Mikey Taylor! 
Yes, his first goal for Tamworth. It was headed on by Verma from the corner. Cleared almost off the line, but somewhere in there, Mikey Taylor gets his first goal for Tamworth and they're 3-0 up, Stuart. And dare I say it, Kev, I think that one is now actually game, set and match. And I think Tamworth will be taking three points back up the M42 to the Lamb. It should really matter to these players that we get a clean sheet because a goal can change a game and can put all the momentum with the team that's just scored it and we don't want that with a few minutes to go. But from another point of view, we've not had a clean sheet now for, what, four games. So we need to make sure that we, we do that. Dunkley might just get the wrong side of Kettle. He does. Singh gets there first. Well, Kettle was never going to win that race against Dunkley. And Dunkley's collided with Jazz Singh there, his former teammate. And he's, he's actually quite concerned about Jazz here. Well, Jazz Singh's lying in the 18-yard box, about 10 yards from his goal, after he bravely came out to the feet of Dunkley there. Yeah, I uh, just watched that as uh, Joel Kettle went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Dunkley there, and that's not a situation you want from a Tamworth no, point of view, Stuart. They've just actually called on a second physio. And Jazz is on the stretch now and getting a round of applause from both sets of fans around the ground. Tamworth players just start to kick the ball around between them again just to get those limbs warmed up again. This is of course where other injuries can occur when you've been full pelt and then all of a sudden stopped and then start again. But yeah, that stretcher really sinking into the pitch somewhat as it gets wheeled across yeah, towards the far side. Now the man mountain that is Greg Smith is occupying the Tamworth goal. Gone out for a goal kick. Something that we'll have to ask Greg Smith when we do catch up with him with Lambs Media and uh, find out whether he has actually played in goals before, if he's a goalkeeper in disguise. It's all over. It has finished here at Lime Meadow. Alba Church nil, Tamworth three. And in the end, a comfortable victory, Stuart from not a very comfortable game. It certainly